Welcome back guys, it's me Daniel with VintageMagic.com. Hope you guys are having a great Monday. Sorry for the semi-late post for the Motivation Monday today. I actually, uh, I think I skipped a week, but that happens, so life gets in the way. All right guys, so I was really thinking about an interesting topic for today, and I wanted to talk to you guys about kind of the the point of your life where it actually starts becoming no more fun. Yeah, you know, a lot of times in life we do things that tend to be just routine. We tend to do things that are very, you know, monotonous. Sure, you might be making more money. Sure, you might get a nicer car, buy a house. But it's the same entire routine over and over again. You might, you know, be doing the same thing with the kids and you start realizing that life becomes a little less creative, a lot less interesting, and you're probably bored. Um, I find that this happens to just about everyone that I've ever spoken to. Um, life gets boring in some weird way and you have to make sure you find ways to consistently get that creative spark. So here are some of the things that I, I've been doing. Um, you know, it happens to me too. I, you know, I don't think there's one person in this world that gets unmotivated or bored or like, oh yeah, I gotta take the kids to the practice. Oh yeah, I gotta do this. Oh yeah, I gotta go to the bank. You know, it gets really routine. And in some ways, like Magic the Gathering gets very, very boring. And you know, I think, have you guys felt in Magic where you felt like it's stagnant and there's really no like excitement in the community and it's kind of boring and it's the same same set with some different mechanic or oh some MTG arena some people have said oh you know this looks like Hearthstone again it's just another cash grab so it feels the same and we also need to realize that it doesn't matter if it's a game like Magic where we're supposed to feel oh, it's new, it's fresh, it's exciting. It sometimes is the same. All right, so first thing that I consider like, you know, with like, doesn't matter if it's collecting, it doesn't matter if it's investing, doesn't matter what it is, is I always go back to the fundamentals. Uh, the fundamentals of why and how you fell in love with something is a critical mark to relive, to go to the past. Uh, this might take a little bit of soul searching and kind of figuring out where I came from. It's a little deep, but it's important to go back to the fundamentals of why you created what you did, why I started collecting, why did I start playing Magic, why did I start watching Rudy's channel, why did I start, wa start watching Daniel's channel, why did I start, uh, you know, listening to this podcast, why did I, you know, why do I do this, why do I take my kids to school, why do I make them lunch. Why do I spend time with my wife? I don't know. Is it because you just want to spend time with her? It's a routine or is there something else that's passionate? So you need to realize that things in life get very routine, get very monotonous, and you got to go back to why and how it started. A second thing I start thinking about when I'm doing this, you know, is I, I start wondering, you know, if what I'm doing now isn't what is actually the right way or it's causing me to actually get stuck. Um, is your current state kind of like the wheels spinning in the mud, like right now it's raining, imagine in the wheels of your car getting stuck in a bunch of mud and spinning around and just spraying mud everywhere. Is your life is things in your life, is the way you're playing your magic, is there the way your your friends, it doesn't matter what it is, why is it you're stuck in that same mud pit and you're not going anywhere? Is it your job? I mean, this is a, you know, your job happens to be probably the number one stress and it can also be an, a, an awesome high, exhilaration of getting a promotion or getting paid more or getting recognized for your work. What is causing you to feel down? You gotta look at that, you know? I, I, I think about, you know, I feel like it's weird. Like, 
Sometimes I've had a lot of success. Sales might be doing great. Uh, the videos are doing great. Uh, my kids are growing up healthy, but I'm still not feeling good. I don't feel sometimes like I've achieved enough or maybe I'm not helping enough people. Maybe I'm not doing, you know, it's not giving me the same high like it used to. Remember that first time you went like to Disneyland or you did something exciting, you played that first time you ever played video games or the first time you went to that concert you really liked or the first time you played that sport you really enjoy. And it was the first moment, like the first time going to Las Vegas. I know for me, like I remember going to Las Vegas and it was like, even though I've been to casinos in the past, it was at that instant high. I was like, whoa, this is Vegas. This is the big time. And I'm just gonna play craps and I just, you know, I ended up winning a little money. But it was the fact that I said I was in Las Vegas and I've watched it on all the videos and it was like, wow, this is cool. And wow, look at, look at, the, look at the strip, it looks amazing. And now when I go to Las Vegas, I'm like, I don't wanna go to the strip. It's freaking, freaking 500 degrees out there. I don't wanna get roasted. You know, actually, I probably will not still go to the strip, but I, I still, I, I wanna highlight that because I don't get that high anymore. It's kinda of like, like, you know, like alcohol. You know, I, one of the reasons why I don't drink anymore is because, you know the first time you drank, the first time is that exciting drink, that you know, exciting moment when you drank where you just went crazy or you felt different, you felt warm, you felt, you know, maybe you want to be a little bit more, you know, touchy-feely, you want to dance, want to get out there, talk to more people. You might be a shy person and you actually, actually spoke to people and got more excited about things. Remember that feeling? And then every other drink thereafter makes you feel depressed in some way. You start questioning things, you start getting angry, you start losing focus. That's why I don't drink, because it changes your mindset. It makes you more depressed. It makes you wonder and question why things are not the way it is, even though it might be just great. And then you want to relieve your anger to other people. Maybe you want to be bitter about your wife, you want to be bitter about your kids, your job, and you just have another drink. You celebrate something, you have another drink. So sometimes external things like smoking weed or smoking cigarettes or doing other harder drugs or maybe an addiction to shopping, addiction to porn, addiction to, you know, whatever, right? Addiction to like brownies. Oh, you know those Girl Scout cookies, those Thin Mints? I love those things. You might just binge on that. It really needs to be a mindset where you reevaluate are there external factors that are also affecting your mindset? Another thing I realized also is that I started looking at, you know, my habits again. I know it kind of fits with everything else I just said, but what habits are you doing daily and also long term, short term and long term, that are kind of causing you to maybe confuse your mind to feel a certain way? You might just got a promotion at your job, but your mindset might be angry at your boss. You might. You know, your, par your, your parents or your, your kids might have done something that pissed you off, but you might be thinking about how you're gonna punish them rather than what they're doing that's really great and how you can be a great father and give them uh, positivity, not just negativity. Oftentimes, we do, and the mindset is we often uh, share negativity first rather than positivity uh, first. And that's something I work on with my marriage. Marriage is very difficult. Uh, one of the most difficult things you can have in your life is to be married. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that like it's, like when people say to you like it's supposed to be easy and it's easy peasy and when you're first dating and all oh, this is great and we're just, you know, we're getting, you know, we're just, doing things together, we go on all these dates and everything's great and I'm always happy, I'm all excited, I'm always horny, I'm always, I'm wanting this, I'm always energy. That's not the way it is. Marriage, truthfully, takes a lot of work on both parties. Most people fail and give up on marriages because they end up just getting tired of it. They're like, no, instantly, instantly. They're like, no, my wife's pissing me off. I'm just gonna go cheat on her because she's not providing this to me. 
Now, I'm gonna go to the casino. No, she doesn't like gambling, so I'm gonna go enjoy it myself. I deserve that. I deserve that as my as the husband that works hard. I deserve to go do things with the guys and leave her at home and not care about her. See, this mentality of giving up in marriages translates a lot of what I'm saying today. This motivation Monday should hit home to a lot of you guys because most of you guys on here are married or have a girlfriend. A lot of times we do things that are to do things because I deserve it or I want to do it because my wife doesn't like that and I don't want to include her anyway. But in sometimes, in most cases actually, your wife cares. She wants to be a part of your life. She wants to experience some of the things that you do. Maybe it's time you showed her what magic is. Maybe it's time it says saying, hey look, it's the way you show her Show her in a way where, hey, this game I love is something that fascinates me. She may not love it the way you do, but I guarantee you, guarantee you she would really appreciate if you, in, you know, engage her in your world and vice versa. Many times women or other relationships, like your kids, you start not, you disclude or not include them, exclude them, sorry, from things in your life because you feel like it's often easier to not actually show them and give them that opportunity to learn what you're all about. Oftentimes we do that. And I find that a lot in a marriages and friendships and a relationship with kids where they're like, you know what, that's an adult thing to do. Or no, that's something that I need for myself. And I'm not saying you don't have time for yourself. I'm saying that it's really, really important you share things with your family and the ones you love, what you're all about. All right, guys, so that was Motivation Monday. I hope you guys really enjoyed and take something out of the video. Tell me more about yourself. Do, you, uh, do any of these things I said relate to you? Do anything, anything. I wanna hear it in the comment section. Also, with the essays, I've gotten, I think, 62 or 65 Written, well written, by the way, essays. I'm still going through them. Don't worry, I'm still going through the essay contest. And I will uh, update you guys as soon as I know what the top three essays are, which I'm going to read and I'm going to share with you guys. And then I'm also going to give those out to Rudy from Alpha Investments and Edwin the Engineer and Open Boosters and those guys so they can help me pick a winner to meet up at a Grand Prix or Orlando in 2019 in February when I go. All right, guys. Happy Monday. Happy. Have a great week. And we'll talk to you guys soon, all right? You guys take care.